me um, post another video uh, of the blade. Sorry it took so long. Um, in this past uh, month or two months or so, um, it's been kind of crazy um, with the, my father passing away and stuff. So uh, took a little time off and just got a little refocused on some things and just had a lot of uh, stuff to do and deal with during all that. So um, it's about, I don't know, it's about 4,000 degrees uh, <laughs> out here. It's super hot. I think my car registered, registered 118 degrees just now. So um, in the shade, which is crazy. So uh, I know it's not that hot, but man, it sure feels like it. Um, anyway, uh, today I uh, started working on the hard top. And as you can see, um, I guess per the latest uh, renderings and, and stuff, uh, we've added um, the humps in the roof now. And uh, basically this is just the foam stage, kind of like uh, how I did with the, the beginning of the, of the video. Um, this basically adds a full inch, oops, a full inch um, to the roof line. And um, actually, I'll take that back, it adds an inch and a half. The foam is an inch thick and it's sitting on about a quarter inch of fiberglass right now. And then we're going to apply another layer of fiberglass on top of this uh, foam, which will add a little bit more height. So, um, so basically an inch and a half or so uh, of, of height in the roof alone. Um, of course, we dropped the floor panes a little bit to allow for taller people such as myself and stuff. So, so anyway, um, just kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. This is just at the beginning of the foam stage. I've pretty much been working on this for about uh, about an hour and a half, two hours, I guess, and um, uh, basically roughed up uh, the uh, the hard top that we had here uh, with some, you know, 40 grit sandpaper. Applied uh, some glue, and then um, then I laid the foam uh, down, which is just flat insulated foam from or insulation foam from Home Depot. <laughs> and um, basically, I don't know if you can see, but what I did in order to make make sure it maintains its shape. I don't know if you can see, but here you can see one big line, which is uh, I cut a bunch of reliefs uh, into the into the foam. Um, I just lost light <laughs> uh, into uh, the foam to allow the the foam to curve along with with the hardtop itself. So uh, it, it'll tend to lift off, as you can see right here, off off the top. But that's not a big deal. Once right before we put fiberglass, we'll inject uh, some other type of glue underneath it. And I'll make sure it really stays in place. Um, this spray foam that I or spray glue that I have is just a a light glue that just holds it in place while I do the shaping, and then we'll we'll inject some other glue into the foam to hold it in place. So, so this kind of gives you an idea. Um, we have the split down the center, which is just cosmetic. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't make it go any faster, but um, it does add height to the roof line, and uh, you know doesn't. Throw off the look of the car, makes it look like uh, what we've rendered in the images and things. And so, uh, so there you go. Um, still got a lot of work to do on the back. Um, the back's going to cut off. Uh, it's going to be cut off now, and it's going to have flat glass in the back uh, with I don't know with with this area kind of coming out along with the curve and contouring to the car. So. Um, that's hard to explain, so in the next video I'll show you what I'm doing with that. But anyway, just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, still working on the car. I, I have the, some test tires in place and along with uh, the suspension and stuff now. Um, the frame is in place and you can get an idea. It's basically what I started off with a long time ago and we're still working on another chassis. So this is still just a test chassis for fitting and aligning and things like that so um so there you go and uh i'll catch you guys um next video so i'll try to stay on top of these videos a little more um now and uh and stuff so uh i'll see you guys later bye